the clean and simple life welcome to my summer strong cooking class and what I want to do tonight is give you a quick demo of some of the products in our spring summer catalog specifically some of the products that are found in our summer strong collection now that summer strong collection you get 10 different products and you get this wonderful recipe glide, recipe guide, not a glide. Um, <laughs> it has uh, two weeks worth of meal plans, as well as lots of amazing recipes. It's got a dessert recipe for you on the back, and it's got some cocktails in there. Great, great way to enjoy some of the summer products that are coming out, and hopefully some summer weather that's coming up. You know, I'm a, I'm a comfort food kind of gal. I love, a, you know, a good chicken pot pie and a hearty stew or a chowder, but nothing screams summer like grilling and chilling, and that's what we're all about tonight. Um, Jennifer's watching. Oh, hello, Jennifer. Hopefully, we'll be enjoying some docktails this summer, I hope. Anyway, so tonight's menu, we're going to be looking at our best-selling blue butterfly iced tea, as well as we're going to be doing a new steamy potato, creamy potato salad, and one of my new favorites, our new Tuscan chicken burgers with condiments. They are the bomb, let me tell you. So let's get started. You're getting a thumbs up from Jennifer. She can't wait to wait to meet us. Oh, I can't wait to. <clears throat> gonna be so much fun. Oh yes. So we're gonna start off with, as I said, the blue butterfly iced tea. Uh, so what I already prepped a little bit, just in the interest of time here. Um, so I've got my bl blue butterfly tea that I prepared, and now the natural blue color in this tea comes from blue pea flowers, uh, blue butterfly pea flowers, that's it. And it tastes like grape Kool-Aid. It's just so yummy. It's great iced tea for the kids. It makes wonderful popsicles for the kids. Pour this into those popsicle molds, freeze it up. Great caffeine-free, low sugar popsicles for the kids in the summer, amazing. But even more amazing is what happens when we add a little bit of citrus. So I'm just using my uh, Prep Pro Pairing Knife, which is a ceramic knife. I love our knives. They are so fantastic. Like I said, they are ceramic. They are rust proof. They're stain resistant. They remain sharp. They cut through soft fruits like uh, tomatoes. I use them for my tomatoes all the time. You know, usually you have to use some kind of serrated knife to get your tomatoes cut. This slices right through those tomatoes. It's wonderful. And it's dishwasher safe. So, fabulous. Heather Spears watching. Oh, hello, Heather. I hope you're doing well. So we're gonna take our lemon here and we're gonna make a little magic happen. I hope. I'm in zoom. Zoom it in there and let's see if we can make this blue into a pink. There it go. There it goes. Look at that. That is the magic of the blue butterfly iced tea. Now you can also put a little club soda in there, make it like a nice little spritzer. Um, like you guys saw, if you tuned in last week to uh, Cinco de Mayo. This we, week. Earlier this week, it was this week, wasn't yeah, it? it? Was. Oh my gosh! Is anybody else having troubles keeping track of time right now? And the I days have, of the week. And the and... days of the week, like I have no idea. I thought Cinco de Mayo was last week. So. Oh hey, I I I spent about <laughs> twenty minutes this morning trying to figure before I got out of bed, just trying to figure out what day it was. I know. I I gotta think for probably two three minutes before I get out of bed. What day is today? Is it Tuesday? Is it Friday? I don't know. Anyway, so if you tuned into Cinco de Mayo earlier this week, you saw me make some margaritas using the Blue Butterfly Simple Syrup that I had made. Um, but this is just going to be a nice, simple iced tea. I'm going to throw a little bit of ice cubes in there, and that's going to be my beverage to go with dinner 
for later tonight. So I'm gonna put that up there and I'm just gonna move all my stuff over here. Focus and on that while you do that. Yes, bear with Ooh. me as I move and grab. Oh my wait, feet. this is where the music's da na 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 And you guys have all met my cameraman Steve. Da na 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 Apparently I'm not paying him enough. So However, the, here we go. That's where the magic happens. There we are. There we are. So now let's move on to our steaming good potato salad. What goes better with a barbecue festival gathering that you're having? You know, you're doing the burgers, you're doing the hot dogs. You got to have a good potato salad. I like potato salad. It never was one of my favorites. I definitely don't like the store-bought stuff. Um... But I, I don't mind doing a good homemade bar, uh, potato salad. They are so good, too. This is amazing. This is our new potato salad mi dressing mix. So what I'm going to... I'll talk about that in a second. I want to start off with my potatoes. So, again, in the interest of time, I prepped a few things in advance for you guys. So... Here in my steamer, I've got the equivalent of about two medium-sized potatoes. I use those little mini potatoes, but it's about two medium-sized potatoes. Maybe two big ones. Okay, maybe two big ones. Go too big, okay. Our steamers are a huge, huge time saver in your kitchen. If you're not familiar with our steamers, they are amazing. They are food-grade silicone. They are oven safe to 425 degrees. They help me get dinner on the table in 20 minutes. They, they really do. I'm always amazed yeah. when she does stuff with them. It comes and out so quick and so and, and perfectly cooked. It really does. And it avoids <clears throat> you having to heat up the kitchen, especially in the summertime. Like, who wants to put potatoes on the stove and boil them and heat up the kitchen? You know, things like that. I put these in the microwave for eight minutes. They are perfectly, perfectly done. You can make oatmeal in these. You can cook a whole chicken in this. Trust me. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do a demo one day of a chicken that I do. In that would be summer. awesome. That would be awesome. I would, I would, yeah, I'd eat that. I'm going to do a whole roasted no chicken on, uh, on a demo one day. I'm going to show you guys. It is possible and it is delicious. Um, you can uh, you can cook your ground beef or ground chicken for tacos in here, or your your chicken for souvlaki and fajitas. These are absolutely amazing, and the best thing is they cook without oil or water, so you're retaining all the nutrients. You're not adding extra fats in there. They're so much healthier for you cooking in this way. Now I do have a little bit of water in there, and that's just because the uh, the potatoes. Steamed, uh, steamed up after they were cooked, and I didn't, uh, I didn't leave the lid off of them, so a little water on me. That's okay. Okay. Um, other ideas for using the steamers in our raw to ready in 20 minutes cookbook. This cookbook has 30 plus recipes using the silicone steamers in your microwave, or again, like I said. It is oven safe to 425 degrees. For those of you who don't like using microwaves for cooking, you can put it in your oven and get the same results. It's going to take a little bit longer, let's be honest, right? Um, but you are going to get the exact same results. And this is perfect summer cooking without heating up your kitchen. It's got amazing recipes in it. So highly, highly recommend that one for you guys. So let's make this salad. Um, we are going to add two tablespoons of our creamy potato salad seasoning here. And I'm using my four in one spice spoon for that. You guys have seen that before. Great gadget for the kitchen. I'm, use, I'm just focusing. Yep, yeah, I'm going to use that. Um, and then I'm going to add in half a cup of mayo already measured out already measured out in my prep bowl which is fantastic i'm 
and what else am I adding here? Half a cup of Greek yogurt. There we go. And let's see. So our mix is super versatile. I'm making a creamy potato salad right now. You can make a vinaigrette style as well. Both recipes are right here on the back. So you've got the creamy potato and you've got the vinaigrette potato salad vin um, options. And look at those recipes or those ingredients, pardon me. Onion, herbs, red bell pepper, inactive nutritional yeast, mustard, paprika, and black pepper. That's it. There's no filler. There's no artificial flavors in there. There's no chemicals in there. Clean, healthy ingredients. So important to healthy eating and to maintaining the health of our bodies. Lynn, so, so important. Lynn is watching. Me. Oh, hello, Lynn. So I'm going to mix this up and there's no added sugar, as you saw in this potato salad. And I'm just mixing it right here in my steamer. All right, why make up another uh, another dish when I don't have to? Okay, now if you wanted to, you could definitely add in a sliced hard-boiled egg if that's your jam. I'm not a fan of eggs in my potato salad. It's just not my thing. I know it is for many people. And I like it. Yeah, well, you know what, babe? Have at her. Put some in yours. <laughs> um, I choose not to, but... Again. Hard-boiled eggs, of course, not... Uh... Well, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Not raw. And I just wanted to, you know, make a little mention on the prep bowls here that I was using. Again, you know, I use them because they, they have the measurements right on the side, so it was easy for me to prep. I knew exactly what I needed to put in there. They're great, mm. too, for putting leftovers in there, for snacks, um, storing your cut veggies or putting condiments in there to take out to your patio table for serving people. They, these are great and they've got the, the silicone lids, seals them right up and they're stackable. So I can stack them up and that lid is not going to collapse on itself. So great, great, great item to have in the kitchen. I love it. It's so good for prep. Tammy, and look at this. Tammy Reed's watching. Oh, hey, Tammy. Tammy is a baker extraordinaire, folks. Let me tell you, I see some of the stuff that Tammy puts out on her Facebook page that she's baking. And I'm just exhausted some days watching her, especially on the weekends. You know, by 10 o'clock, she's gone into town. She's gotten her groceries. She's baked a loaf of bread. She's baked some kind of, of sweet muffins. She's got a beautiful dinner on the go. She's amazing. <laughs> so here we go look at this potato salad good we're done only thing that we're gonna do now is I'm gonna add some of our better than bacon topper this I'm telling you is better than bacon it has all that smoky flavor and the crunchy bite of bacon but it is made from pinto beans and nutritional yeast so it's actually a vegan bacon so all those people that are trying to avoid bacon or you're I don't know why, vegan but okay. or vegetarian. Well, you know what? It's a little healthier for you. Let's be honest, right? I love bacon. Don't get me wrong, but it's not exactly the healthiest for you. So I'm just going to... Arif is watching. Oh, hi, Arifa. So I've got a little bit of my uh, better than bacon on there. And now my potato salad is done. Ready to go. Look at that. See? Yes, I prepped those potatoes. They took about eight minutes in the microwave. So, you know, if while those are cooking, typically if I'm making dinner for us, while those are going on, I'm making, I'm cutting up veggies. I'm, I'm getting just my doing burgers something else. Ready. Yeah, exactly. Prepping elsewhere. I'm prepping different things. So I'm getting the burgers ready. I'm cutting, cutting up vegetables. So everything's flowing together. Um, so definitely still part of my rod ready in 20 minutes. So there we go. So now I've got my potato salad ready and I'm just going to take this back over here. Give some room on the counter here. Musical interlude. And they get to see me doing it too. Oh, wonderful. Because uh, I don't want to see you. I am you're, so sorry, people. They're not seeing you right now at all. It's all me. People, I am so sorry. 
And we're back to you. Oh, right. <laughs> as the prep, as, see, magical, the, 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 the magic of movie or live movie video. Magic? Movie magic? Yeah, the magic of movie magic. You know, people, sometimes I wonder if it's not just better to set up the camera and do this myself. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to leave it up to you. I, what do you guys say? I would love to hear a, a vote on this. Are we yay? Steve as the cameraman and the comedy interlude, or are we, <laughs> no, really, dump the guy? I leave it Figuratively, up. not, not, not actually. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll keep him around. I'll just fire him as the cameraman. Um, I leave it up to you, to the viewers. You guys get to decide. Let's move on to burgers. <laughs> <laughs> on that one. What wonderful. we're actually here to do. All right. <clears throat> so... With Epicure, you are never going to have a burger, a boring burger, again. Our spices for making burgers are absolutely amazing. Now, I did get a little head start, so I've got some prep, but I am starting off with my one pound of ground chicken. Lean chicken at that for yes. us. Yes, and I'm going to be using our new Tuscan chicken burger seasoning. It's a Mediterranean medley of garlic, rosemary, tomato, and sumac. Now, what the heck is sumac? You might be wondering. Sumac is a really nice um, herb that adds a bit of a lemony taste to, uh, to dishes. It's really nice, it's bright, it's lovely. This would be great on just about anything. Beef, chicken, lamb, pork. It lends itself well to everything. We actually, on the weekend, we made um, Chicken capri chicken breast caprese on the grill. Yep. Um, and I seasoned my chicken with the Tuscan chicken burger seasoning uh, with a slice of mozzarella, a tomato slice, some chiffonade of basil, and some balsamic glaze. Oh, so delicious. Oh, yeah, no, it was incredible. It really was amazing. Absolutely great. One of the better mm -hmm. ones I've had. So I'm using, again, my four cup prep bowl here, my new go-to bowl. I am loving this bowl. I got two and I think I'm getting six more. I swear to God, this is the best bowl. It does everything. I can prep in it. I can, you know, marinate my meat in it. I put the silicone lid just like on the prep bowls. I can stack on it. It seals everything nicely. Awesome tool to have. So I'm going to be putting in here two tablespoons of the seasoning, two tablespoons, and a lot, I thought I had a spoon on this tray. No, apparently not. Oh, apparently I forgot to put a spoon on this tray. Bear with me. Do -do -do. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's a different angle. Yeah. There so, we go. And then I'm just going to mix this in together. Make sure it's all incorporated. Basically just fold and it together. Yeah, basically just fold it together. Now, you know, chicken burgers are fairly lean and I love grilling them, but let me give you a tip on grilling. If you put it directly on the grill, odds are it's gonna fall apart and it's gonna stick and all those crazy things. So, here's my tip for ground chicken burgers or turkey burgers for that matter on the grill use either one of those um, barbecue mats that you can get or some kind of cast iron grill griddle to uh to put on there catch all the all the fat renderings yeah well, is that where you're going only, with that no because okay. what it'll do is it'll keep the burger from falling in between the <clears throat> um the grill Good call. Right, because until it sets, it's very, very delicate, and it's likely to fall apart. That's been my experience. Pan frying is not an issue. You can pan fry it in a grill pan. That works too. Um, but if you want to get that that barbecuey flavor, like I said, I highly suggest either use one of those barbecue mats, or get a uh, a cast iron griddle or um, or grill pan that you can put onto your barbecue. That's what I used. I have a cast iron grill and griddle. It just kind of flips over griddle on one side, flip it over, you got the grill on the other side. Um, that's what I used on the barbecue. 
and it worked just fine. Melanie and Regis are watching. Oh, hello, Melanie, and hello, Regis. Hope you had a good day today. Hope your, uh, your tire run wasn't too long today on a Friday. Anyway, so here we go. I've got that all mixed together. Now, here's another tip. We've got our three-in-one burger press back out. Oh, I don't have the uh, the slider attachment. The slider attachment it's in the, in the dishwasher. dishwasher. So there is a little slider attachment that kind of fits in here, but it works the same way as this. I like the three-in-one burger press. I don't particularly like it with chicken burgers, and I'll tell you why. They stick. Chicken burgers are very sticky, and although it does make a nice uniform size patty and nice uniform thickness, when you're trying to take them out, they do tend to stick a little bit. So, you have a couple choices. You can freeform them, which is what I did. Or um, maybe try spraying it with some oil. Some and, Pam or something. Some Pam or something, and that'll help get them out of the press. <clears throat> but when you're making beef burgers and pork burgers, things like that, no issue. Love this thing. And what the great thing is, too, is you can, as soon as I can open it up, there we go. You can make a stuffed burger. So you take the outer thing mm, off and yeah. you can use that. It makes a nice little indent in the middle. Put your stuffing in, put the rest of the burger on, and then put the outer part back on. Stuff, press it all down and it all goes together. There's also a little insert on the, in the middle here that makes a two ounce slider. Um, it works the same way as this. You put your meat in, use this to flatten it out and even it out. It's a great, great tool. I do like this a lot. Like I said, just not with tur with uh, chicken and turkey burgers. Tammy, but that's my Tammy loves hers. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I, and like I said, I used it last night on, um, on beef burgers. Loved it. it. They were great. It's just... For me, chicken, I find them sticky. Do you use them with your chicken burgers? And if so, how do you keep them from sticking? I would love to know because it, it's a struggle for me. So I'm just going to set that aside because I did cheat a little bit and I made some earlier. So here is my ready-made turkey burger or chicken burger. Pardon me. There you go. And... It is absolutely lovely and smells delicious. And I'm just bringing over some condiments so we can prep that up here. Tammy says she doesn't make chicken burgers and Regis says he, his, he has one from Tupperware. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I know which one that is too. Yeah, no, I, like I said, I, I really do like the, um, the idea of the burger presses. I think they work great, so. Now, here we are. So, the other thing you can do, you can also make portobello mushroom burgers um, with the Tuscan chicken seasoning. That works well. If you're interested in finding out more about making burgers, join me on May 25th. I am hosting a build your own burger cooking class. So, feel free to join me. We're going to make a few different burgers and talk about different condiments and toppings that you can put on there. So, It'll be, uh, it'll be lots of fun. So here's my burger. And what I want to talk about is some of the toppings that you can use. So we do have <coughs> our sweet, sweet and spicy mustard back again. I love this mustard. It's fantastic with sausages. It's got that. So it's like, a, it's like a European, like a hot mustard. It's like a little bit of a hot mustard. It's organic, made with 100% Canadian mustard seeds, jalapenos, turmeric, red bell peppers, and just a little bit of sea salt. It, it's so flavorful. Are we getting into a Grey Poupon area here? Oh, for, it puts Grey Poupon to shame. Okay, just checking. <laughs> if you like something a little bit milder, we also have our honey mustard, which is Fantastic, good on so many different things. Great to dip um, chicken tenders in if your kids are into that. Very, very yummy. Um, so that is uh, that's really great to put on your burger as well. And then we've got our quickles, which is our quick pickles. And if you can boil water, you can make pickles. It is not difficult. 
Literally, it is uh, two, one tablespoon of the mix, two tablespoons of sugar, a teaspoon of, cor of sea salt, one and a quarter cups of water, three quarters of a cup of vinegar. Boil it and then pour it over whatever vegetables you want to pickle. I made cucumber spears. You can pickle or quickle, as we like to call them. Red onions, that's a really popular one. Carrots. Anything you would normally do, it Corn sounds like. Corn shrimp. Really? Pickled shrimp? Pickled shrimp. I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about that well, yet, but we'll give it a try. Okay, so the reason that you're thinking that is because you're thinking dill pickles. This is more like a sweet pickle. So uh, think bread and butter kind of pickles. It's got a little bit more of a sweetness <clears throat> to it. Gotcha. Um, so which is why it kind of works well with the shrimp. But it's fantastic. You can do carrots, you can do green beans, spares, whatever you like. It is absolutely fantastic. And the nice thing is, you can do just a little bit at a time. So one batch made this jar. Awesome. Right? So you're making as little <clears throat> or as much as you want. Um, our big burger sauce is always a favorite as well. Think Big Mac sauce. This is kind of our equivalent to the Big Mac sauce, but way healthier, way less sodium. Let me tell and way less fat. So again, stay tuned to the build your own burgers cooking class. We will be making some of this for our beef burgers that we're having. Oh, um, uh, Lynn says we should do a uh, when we do the burger fest. Yes. Let, let them know and we'll ha we'll we'll have a little little driveway <laughs> to drive little driveway to driveway burger fest there. Nice. Well, you know what? We just might do that, Lynn. We just might do that. I am going to serve my burgers today because they are Tuscan burgers and because I happen to think that they make a nice compliment. Let's grab that. So, and I, you know what? Before I do that, I gotta tell you, these, I, I gotta shout out to these sheet pans. So this is our quarter sheet pan and this is our full sheet pan. These are a barbecue dream. Okay. Whoa, I gotta back up to get these both in. Okay. Quarter sheets. So you get two quarter sheets to a full sheet. Okay. Anybody that that's nice. Knows the case, you know. These are fantastic because Oh, Regis is in too on the barbecue. <laughs> well, he can walk over too. He yes, he can. Far. Yes, he can. So what I love about these is you can, as you saw, I was bringing some of my ingredients over on these trays. Well, you load up all your barbecue stuff on here so your meats and your utensils whatever you need everything goes on here you carry it all out to the barbecue these ones are great because they don't take up a whole lot of room but you know what if you've got a side uh, a side tray on your barbecue that works too you get all your meat onto the barbecue and then you take your liner off that is all dirty with your raw meats and now you've got your clean Pan where you where can put all take your, everything back. your cooked foods. This is dishwasher safe and it is super easy to clean, just like all of our silicone is. Throw it in the dishwasher, it comes clean very, very quickly. Nothing sticks to it. Super, super handy. So all right, I have to I have to put an home. interlude in here for a sec. Okay. Only because, and now it's facing me, not you. Oh, geez. Oh, I, I can say Sandra's been holding out on me on this one. Uh, I've been barbecuing this week a couple times, and I have not been offered this sort of uh, insider uh, information, I'm as it were. So, um, so I just want to let we'll you know on that one. Later, yeah, well, sure. we're, her and I are going to have a little <laughs> chat about this, but it's a, it is a great system, and I'm looking forward to using it, that's for sure. Now. Okay. Back to who you're actually here to see. All right. So apparently we have a discussion happening later. Go back to the Tuscan burger. <laughs> see, nobody even saw Somebody you put it on a bun. Me. So, me. Nobody even saw you put it on the bun. So I really like with this Tuscan chicken burger, serving it with tzatziki. And I do a cheap tzatziki. I am using our lemon dilly dip mix mixed with equal amounts of Greek yogurt and mayo. And then I used my four-in-one mandolin with the grating um, blade and grated some cucumber and put that into my tzatziki. And that is what I'm gonna use to sauce up my, my uh, burger here. 
So for me, it's a little bit of the tzatziki on there and maybe a tomato again using my mandolin cut, to cut up the tomato and a little bit of lettuce and there we have it ooh la la the know, room, right? we're done and there we go how delicious does that look right? that looks amazing it does look amazing and as i mentioned you know we're doing we're going to do the build your own burgers but in the catalog on page 34, 35, there's your build your better burger with all the condiment options that are available. Um, roasted garlic aioli is a nice option for your burgers. Barbecue sauce, like I mentioned, the big burger sauce. Stay tuned. We're going to make that later this, uh, later this month. So, so yummy. And... Yeah, I kind of prepped that burger a little in advance, but at the end of the day, this is all about a 20 minute, maybe 30 minute ordeal, depending on the barbecue and how long that's gonna take. But it's certainly not something that's difficult and complicated. And you know, I find when you talk to people about cooking, first of all, people think it's gotta be, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be complicated. <laughs> and when you start talking about healthy cooking and healthy ingredients, well, now they think it's almost impossible. And yet, I hope that you guys have seen that you can put clean, healthy meals on the table for you and your family in 20 to 30 minutes or less. And it's still going to be absolutely delicious. And I really, you know, I miss doing my in-person cooking classes because I so love to share all this food with my hosts and letting people try the foods because, you know, it, it, it makes a difference when you can try them, but I just hope that you guys can can feel how passionate I am about it and how delicious all this looks just from the, from the video. And I did want to just do a little recap on the summer collection. On the uh, I was just about to ask. The summer strong collection. So we talked about all the recipes that I did today are from our summer strong collection. And the collection comes with 10 different products, and that includes our Tuscan chicken burger that we made. It includes the creamy potato salad that we made, along with the better than bacon. It includes the blue butterfly tea that we made. It also includes our teriyaki dry glaze, which is absolutely wonderful you can use it as a dry glaze you can make a teriyaki sauce with it you can marinate with it it's beautiful beautiful product i'm so happy they brought that back you also get three packages of the sweet and sour stir fry delicious three packages of the azteca tortilla soup again very yummy Three packages of our new Simply Better Baked Beans. This is great because you can not only make regular baked beans as a hot dish, you can also make a cold bean salad. Both recipes are on the back. And stay tuned for some, uh, for some insights on that. You're going to see this come back again uh, this month in another cooking class. And of course, you know how I feel about dessert. No meal is complete without dessert. So you get two packages of the vanilla bean panna cotta, which was one of our taste test options uh, a few months back. I think back in November, I think yeah. it was November, December, somewhere back <clears> then. <throat> in the fall. Um, so they did bring this back as part of the Summer Strong collection. So that's one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last but not least. I'm missing one, I think. Oh, 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 I know what I'm missing. <laughs> My favorite, the sweet and spicy mustard. That also comes in the uh, in the Summer Strong collection. So you've got everything you need to get started in hosting, when we're allowed to start hosting people again, uh, your outdoor barbecue feast for everyone and enjoying some of the summer weather. So I hope everybody enjoyed our summer strong barbecue tonight and i hope to see you guys again soon stay tuned on the next class is going to be saturday may 16th is my next cooking class 
So I hope to see some of you guys there for that one. And uh, take care.